Hi everyone, it's Olivia again. Um, no, I haven't been on in a really long time this time. But um, I want to get on today and talk to you guys about medications again. Because I slipped up, I ran out, and I stopped taking them. And that's why it's been so long since I've been on. Uh, in that time, I lost a job and I had to move. Um, I'm still happily with my boyfriend. Um, and he moved with me. But, um, it's really important to stay on your meds. I mean, I didn't even want to stop taking them. Okay, that's a lie. I just stopped taking them. As most bipolars do. We just stop. Because we don't think we need it. And it's bullshit because we need it. We're up. I mean, we're not normal. And to think that we can function in a normal world... Being abnormal is just basically crap. We, I, have a problem taking my medications because I feel like it changes me. Like it's not me anymore. Well, it is. It's just a different me. Now, as you can probably tell, anyone who is bipolar knows that I'm obviously still not stable on my meds because I'm manic as hell right now. But it's really important to take your medication when you're bipolar. And it's really important if you're supporting somebody who has bipolar disorder, not to shove them in their shove it in their face, say, here, take your pills, take your pills. But to yes, motivate them. Because if you don't motivate them, they will not take their pills. If you don't give them ultimatums, they will not take their pills. Some people have more uh what's the word I'm looking for? Control, self-power than most of us, but it's a common trait for bipolars to not take their medication. And if you do have that problem, you need to speak to someone about it because I'm telling you right now, every time I go off my meds, something fucks up in my life. Pardon my language, but it's true. I mean, I've never been off my meds and had good things happen to me. It's always the other way around. When I'm on my meds, good things happen. Last time I was on my meds, I met a man who actually treated me correctly. I got a job and kept it. I lived happily, you know, with my boyfriend and his family who adored me. Now, his family still adores me. Only one side of it now, though. And, you know, I had to move. Now I'm out $600 a month paying for rent for a, like a 9 by 9 room, which I love because I also get a computer loft where I can make videos for you people. <laughs> um, and I'm lucky I'm still with my boyfriend. He and I have been fighting so much because I've been off my meds. It's unbelievable. So basically, stay on your meds. You'll stay stable. And I mean, I feel like such a hypocrite because I just posted a video like not even... No, not even two months ago about staying on your meds and here I am I was off for a month and now I'm nuts again okay I'm not nuts and most bipolars aren't nuts but you know what I'm getting at anyway so basically stay on your medication please for anything just for yourselves and um, I hope all is well with everyone out there my three subscribers <laughs> and um, that's it. Bye.